Hey everyone, Jason here with another Tinkercad tutorial, and in this one we're looking at another sample project from my new book, Taking Tinkercad to the Next Level, where you can learn advanced 3D modeling and design skills for Tinkercad, as well as how to bring your Tinkercad designs to life using 3D printing. Now, in this video, we're looking at one of my favorite Tinkercad tools, which is the duplicate and repeat tool that you can find right here, although it's grayed out, of course, because I don't have an object selected. So what the duplicate repeat tool does is not only does it copy an object, so for example, I just made a second box, as long as I keep my object selected, when I duplicate it again, not only does it copy, it also copies the transformation. So for example, if I take an object, I duplicate it, I move it by let's say 27 millimeters, and I increase its size by two millimeters. When I duplicate it again, it will again move by the same distance, 27 millimeters, and increase by two millimeters. And you can create some really cool patterns and manipulations that are automated all using this tool. So the sample project we're gonna look at is how to create a cool shape such as a pumpkin. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring a sphere shape out and increase its size a bit, like so. I'm not worried about specific dimensions for this project. And I'm also gonna change the color to be orange. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate the sphere shape, move it over a bit, and rotate it by about 25 degrees or so. Maybe move it a little bit more. And because I kept the shape selected, when I duplicate it again, I get another sphere shape that again, rotates by about 25 degrees and moves over about the same amount. And as long as I keep my shape selected, I can continue to press the duplicate and repeat tool until my shapes continue all the way around. And because we used the sphere shape, that gave us this nice, lovely little pumpkin type design. And maybe I'll, I'll smush it a little bit. And I think I will duplicate one more. Notice now that I've deselected and reselected, the duplication kind of starts over, right? So it didn't continue this pattern because I had deselected my shapes. I'm gonna bring this new one in and sort of flatten it and scale it up a little bit to make the center of my pumpkin, like so. And then I think we can use the same tools to make the stem. So I'm gonna grab this polygon shape and use Cruise to put the polygon on top of our pumpkin here. And I think I can flatten this and bring this down a little bit. All right. And if I duplicate this, and I'm gonna raise it slightly, scale it down slightly, and rotate it slightly, see what happens when we duplicate and repeat this a bunch of times. There we go, we got a nice little pumpkin stem. So I can select all these shapes, but not my pumpkin, don't wanna grab that. And I will actually group these together. And I think scale it a little bit and maybe just bring it in the pumpkin a bit. And of course, change the color. So there we go, fun project, making a pumpkin's a little random, but it's more about creating shapes with the duplicate and repeat tool to create really intricate patterns and designs, again, as discussed in my book. Thanks for watching. And of course, please don't forget to subscribe and find more tutorials and guides on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to check out this book if you wanna learn more about advanced Tinkercad modeling skills and 3D printing.